Howdy ho friends and welcome back to another weekly wax meltdown. This is where I go through what I melted in the last week and give you my thoughts. And as usual, I start with Scentsy because I am an independent Scentsy consultant. So if you need a consultant, all my information is in the description box below. Let's start with what's currently available with Scentsy and we will go with Make a Splash. This is Dewy Melon, Fresh Green Apple, and Turquoise Waters. Definitely aquatic, hence Make a Splash name. And a definite noticeable note of that melon. I don't know really that that green apple is noticeable unless it just kind of blends in so well with that aquatic and that melon note. But it's definitely a fresh aquatic note with a distinct melon in there. Very strong, I think pretty widely loved scent as well. Um, I use this in my open living, living room that's very large with um, high ceilings and it does very well in there. Um, I've also heard that it's great in the pods as well if you like the pod system. Um, it's currently also available in the body line and the cleaning line. I'm definitely going to be trying some of the cleaning products. I do worry though, when I love a wax so much, trying it in the other, especially the cleaning line, um, that I don't want to associate that scent with cleaning, <laughs> right? I, um, I do wanna try it because I'm sure it is a great cleaning scent. I just don't wanna always think of cleaning when I'm melting the wax, you know what I mean. Um, for that reason too, I usually do not melt aloe water and cucumber because that's the scent that I use for cleaning. Um, anyway, but I do want to try the Make a Splash in the cleaning products, but it's not going to be something that I probably completely switch to that one scent. Anyway, it's a great scent though. Next, I've got Magnolia Linen, and this is Sun Washed Linen with magnolia and honeysuckle. So just like this name says, yes, it's a laundry scent with that floral, definite floral note. And yes, I would say in the wax form, it definitely is like, has that feminine type of note. Um, it in It's also available in laundry. And I, I really think it's a scent though that is a good laundry scent and would not be feminine, you know, if your clothes smell a little like it. Anyway, yeah, it's also a super strong scent as well, does well in my big living room, high ceiling area. That's all the currently available scents I did this past week. So now we will move to scents that I have in my club, uh, my Scentsy Club, which is just, it's an auto ship or a subscription service, but the best perk is once a scent is discontinued, you can put it in your club before it discontinues and since he will continue to make it for you. So that's why I have discontinued bars and that's why I keep getting them is because they're in my Scentsy club. If you need more information on that, check out my website. There's a whole section for Scentsy club and frequently asked questions and that type of thing. So my first one, a fairly new addition to my club, is Vitamin R for Relax. This is Bergamot, Vanilla, and Warm Amber. And this is so good. It is that amber type note, really, with a little bit of smoothness from the vanilla and brightness kind of from a Bergamot. Now, to me, a lot of times, Bergamot can make something smell kind of masculine, have that cologne type of note to it. It doesn't in this one at all. Yeah, great scent. I would say this is a light to medium though. Um, it does okay in an average size room. I wouldn't try it in a larger room though. Next in my club is Ocean. This is Aquatic Notes, deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. Man, I don't know why they took this out of the catalog. This is the best scent I've ever used in the laundry. 
I wish they would at least bring it back in laundry. Um, it is a good aquatic note. And as far as the, you know, water lilies, you don't, I mean, you don't get really floral from this, I wouldn't say. I would say it could maybe be a little bit masculine, but it's mainly just fresh and almost kind of calming to me. Not that it's a calming scent, but just, you know, gives you that feeling like you're out on the beach and just soaking up the sun, kind of. And the last one in my club is, and I have two of them, Ice Hotel. This is crystalline ice, pure white snow. As you breathe in, cool, magical fragrance of blue mint, arctic pine, and winter citrus. So for me, I have this in my club because when it's really, really hot outside, like 100 degrees, it definitely make, has is one of those scents that makes it feel a little cooler in the house. Um, yes, I would say you get a little bit of all of that, the blue mint, the arctic pine, and a citrus, but this is to me one of those scents that it's blended so well, I would never be able to pick out like what specifically is in here. And if you don't like peppermint, I will say this blue mint is definitely not a peppermint at all. I hate peppermint, if you didn't know that about me. So any little bit of it, I can smell, and that's not the mint that's in here. Anyway, very good, um, fresh, icy type of uh, scent. Great for when it's hot outside. Um, next, I've got two that are not available and also not in my club. I have Petal Pals, which this was, I think, Valentine's Day last year. It is playful notes of pink rose, peony, and whipped marshmallow. And this is so, so good. It is... Definite rose, but it's got that whipped vanilla in there. That whipped marshmallow, I mean. And to me, I would say my favorite. I don't even really love floral type scents, but I would say my favorite type of scent is a floral mixed with like a food, a bakery type scent, exactly like this. It's great, you can see it. Had a hard time getting here. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, but the more I have like way too many of these. So I had it in my club for a little while. I actually took it out because I wasn't going through it fast enough. Um, and as the bars that I have kind of cure, that floral note is coming out more above that marshmallow note. So I think when I warm some again, I'm gonna try to mix it with um, maybe the happy birthday or birthday wishes. I think I have a couple bars of both of those. So I'm definitely gonna try to add some more bakery in there, but I wish I would have kept it in my club. I just, you know, you gotta make room. <laughs> you gotta make room. So. Since I had a stack of that already in my um, collection, I had to make the cut. Anyway, next, not available, it's Love. And this was from this year's Valentine's collection. Tangy Tangerine, Raspberry Blossom, and a Night Sky of Sparkling Sugar. And this to me is fairly light. I don't know that I said Petal Pals for me is strong as well. Medium to strong. Um, okay, back to this, sorry. Um, this one is fairly light, maybe medium. I mean, it does barely okay in like an average size room. It's kind of, if you like those light scents that you can just kind of smell in the background, this would be good for an average size room. It smells like, to me, the little candy hearts for Valentine's Day or even like Smarties, you know, kind of along that line, like just a light kind of fruity type scent. 
not like a fruit punch, but like a candy, almost like a powdery candy. All right, that's all Scentsy. Um, so let's go into other wax and my first super exciting find. I thought about even doing a separate video <laughs> for my find. Um, I love, and you've probably heard me say it if you've watched my videos, that I love Bath & Body Works Pink Petal Tea Cake. And I have chopped up one of, one of my candles and used it as wax melts. It's Pink Rose Petals Pound Cake and Vanilla Glaze. And this is, like I said, you know, that combination of a floral and a bakery. This is the best ever combo of that. Um, and you know, some people, some vendor, wax vendors and stuff like that have done, you know, their version of it. They're just always off. I've tried several um, from vendor wax and it's never the same, you know, it, it's definitely different. Um, I was at Kohl's on Saturday, this past Saturday, and I, I mean, come on, they have the wax lined up on like an end cap kind of thing. Like, I'm not going to go and smell them all, <laughs> right? Do you do that? Um, and as soon as I saw this one, you know, I was just going down the line, picking, smelling, you know, each one. And then I saw this and I was like, no way. Are they trying to copy the Pink Petal Tea Cake? Picked it up, smelled it. Yes, it smells like it. So much like it. Um, so, I may have purchased the, I think, five clamshells that they had of it. I didn't pick up any of the candles that they have, only because rumor on the YouTube, I guess, and Instagram, is that Pink Petal Tea Cake is coming out at Bath & Body Works again, hopefully within the next couple months, maybe during the semi-annual sale. So I didn't pick up any of the candles from Kohl's in their Sonoma brand. Um, but as you can see, their scent notes say fruit, rose, and vanilla. And this is a pretty close dupe. It might be just a hint more floral rose in it, but it's very, very close. Um, the wax, Sonoma's wax used to be really soft, but this time it, it, and I think it said somewhere that it's paraffin, and it was really hard and did not do well, um, like super well in my Scentsy warmers. Um, except those that get pretty hot, hotter than others usually. Anyway, totally enjoyed that. I may go ahead and buy one or two of the candles just to try them, to be able to compare to the real thing. Um, and I'm holding this also because I finished this one, that candle. I had just, you know, maybe like two melts worth left in crumbs, basically, at the bottom of it. So I put these two from Sonoma in the majority of my like big area, kitchen, living room, dining room, all that area. And then I put this in our bedroom, you know, so I could kind of walk here and smell it and compare it and walk in the other room and smell it and compare it. Anyway, very close. If you have a Coles near you, give this a try. Um, put it though in your warmers that get the hottest i guess is what i would say if not maybe try one of the candles if you like candles as well um i didn't think it smelled similar in the candle but other i see now that other people are saying it does so i may try one at some point okay um so that's that i don't have any other of that brand i did get a few things from aldi um and actually, I think that video, that haul video is coming up on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. I went to Yankee and did some exchanges, bought a couple things. And we also went to an Aldi while we were um, in the area. So that haul is coming up on Saturday. So watch out for that. But I've already melted one of them. It's lemon and sage. And the, this smell kind of reminds me of like a lemon and lavender scent. 
It's a little bit more peppery, obviously, because sage is a little more peppery, but it was nice. Um, it did not last long. I mean, maybe eight hours, if that, but it was nice while it lasted. And then I have a Kringle Candle Spa Day. And if you're interested in trying anything Kringle, first of all, they always have sales going on, but also they have, um, I have a discount code for 15% off. It's the same as my channel name, Melt It Michelle, to get 15% off. And most of the time that can be used with the sale prices that are already going on. Um, so this, um, sorry, this scent is notes of fresh ozone, water flowers, aromatic, Muguet, which is Lily of the Valley, um, Amber, and White Musk. And this is a no for me. Um, I kind of get water, like a water, I guess you could say aquatic, but water flowers. We'll just say I get water flowers. A little bit of ozone and I'm not sure what the other thing is smelling it is very similar to my nose to peppermint that's in there um, maybe that's the aromatic that they're talking about but whatever that note is it's something similar to peppermint and I don't like it I won't be buying that one again <laughs> Um, and then the rest of the wax that I have today is Super Tarts. Um, and I'm still going through stuff that I bought in 2020 and before. I think I started buying from them in 2020. Yeah. And I'm still going through all of that wax. Anyway. Um, I have Zombie Brains. And if you don't know, if you've never heard of Super Tarts, her names are usually in reference to something, a TV show, a movie, the characters, that kind of thing. This was in her Melting Dead collection. It's key lime, pomegranate, and fluffy cotton candy. And I definitely got that pomegranate note in here with a little added sweetness. I didn't get the key lime, um, but yeah, and really... You know, with Scentsy's, you can smell the clam after it's empty and still smell the wax, right? Super Tarts, for some reason, her clam shells um, have a very plasticky note. Even when the wax is in there, you can get that plastic. Anyway, so Super Tarts is not exactly something you can smell the clam after it's empty because all you get is that plasticky note. Anyway. But for zombie brains, I got, definitely got that pomegranate with some added sweetness. I didn't really get that lime. And then I've got Emily. This is rainbow sherbet, crisp mac apple, and chlorine. And this was just kind of a generic fruity type scent, like a fruit punch almost, with a little bit of like aquatic Chlorine. I wouldn't say it's chlorine, just an aquatic watery type note added to it. Um, and sorry, I keep forgetting to say how strong these are. Zombie Brains was say a medium to strong. Emily was a medium. Um, Chrissy's Remains. This is from her Jaws collection. This is, let's see, Cotton Candy. Added to the jaws, which is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear. And this, I love all of her jaws collection scents. Um, this one is probably one of my least favorite, just because that cotton candy really changes that jaws blend. Um, but it's still very good. If you like fresh type scents, try her jaws since they're all really good um, and strong very strong her jaws um, iterations are very strong next is Punisher this is the omen 
which is her Ocean Breeze Vanilla Bean Noel and Red Delicious Apple blended with tobacco leaf. And this um, was okay. The Omen blend is kind of a fresh apple type um, of a scent. And then you add the little bit of tobacco leaf in there. Um, to me, her tobacco leaf is a little dirty smell to it. I guess a little earthy, but dirty smell. So this is my first and probably my only uh, Punisher that I will try. Um, definitely gave it that masculine type of scent as well. As far as performance though, the Pun Punisher was fairly light. Um, but the Omen blend, the Ocean Breeze Vanilla Bean Noel and Delicious Red Delicious Apple is fairly light as well, especially compared to like her Jaws stuff. It's on the light side. Next is Yippee Kaye, and this is um, used to be called Die Hard, and it is pine needles and sugar cookie. And this was actually, you know, some of her scents are very surprising how good they are when it's just like two simple scent notes like pine needles and sugar cookies very good great christmas scent um but even like this time of year kind of a fresh type scent with that bakery is real nice it doesn't like scream christmas um anyway very nice and i would say about a medium performer for that one and then the last super tarts i have is tin man this is pink sugar, lavender cream, and stainless steel. Um, and I think the pink sugar, lavender cream is her go to sleep blend, and then add stainless steel to make Tin Man. Um, <clears throat> and actually, she has changed the name of this since I purchased this one. It's now called Sleep Sounds. Um, the Tin Man was in a reference to Wizard of Oz. Um, anyway. I don't really know. I mean, I know she doesn't want to infringe copyright and everything, but some of the scents that she's changing the name of, I don't, I mean, I don't know that it's specifically, you know, would infringe on anything. A Tin Man? I mean, anyway, I'll stop talking on that. But Tin Man, um, very nice. I really liked this one. Um, the, the stainless steel part is what I got the most of though. And really to describe that kind of a masculine note added to the lavender cream and the sh sweetness from that pink sugar was very nice. Um, I wish actually that I could smell the clam. Oh, I can actually, and still get it with this one. Anyway, very nice. This might would be one I would buy again, with the exception of it was pretty light. Um, and these have had plenty of time to cure, so that's not the issue. I don't think it's past the point where it would lose its scent. I think that's it was just intended to be light. So that's all the super tarts. Now let's start with candles and... By the way, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you have not already. That way when uh, you go to your subscription feed, any new videos that I upload will show up in that feed. Okay, let's start with my single here. Not single wick, but one of a homeworks. I have farm stand strawberry, and this was in the little, if you haven't seen these, it's the cutest little like fruit basket ceramic and these it came with two of these that just drop in to that and you can melt them and then take it out and put the other one in there and still be in the cute little fruit basket anyway <clears throat> this is farm fresh strawberries red raspberry currants lemon zest and crystallized sugar so this was obviously under my uh, lamp it did melt all the way down on this but I mean really you know it's not but about two inches um, and it gets smaller so the heat worked really well on this for the candle lamp anyway the scent very sweet 
um, strawberry, and I would say not like a fresh strawberry at all. This was like, um, kind of like the raspberry lollipop that Cincy had, or I also compare that one to um, Yankee's cranberry chutney. Yeah, so like a really sweetened, condensed, you know, like compote type of strawberry scent. Um, and oddly enough, even though I like that type of scent with the raspberry lollipop and Yankee's cranberry chutney, I didn't really like it in strawberry form. I don't know, maybe just because I usually prefer like a fresh strawberry, but anyway, it was nice, but I would not buy that farm stand strawberry again from Homeworks. And also it was kind of light, but the candle is kind of old, so it may have lost some of the scent because of that. And then I've got three Bath & Body Works candles. One is Thankful. And this is Frankincense and Myrrh. I love Frankincense and Myrrh combinations. Absolutely love them. And this is one of those scents that will last so, so long. This was in a candle crock, and it's been there several weeks like on 24 hours a day seven days a week and did great i mean maybe even three weeks i don't remember but it's been a while um most you know i'm doing good to get a week out of it in the crock um by the way also speaking of candle crocks and candle lamps i have a mini series three of my four episodes are already available um, about candle crocks and candle lamps. So go check those out. I will, um, my last one in that series is about candle crocks and I'm hoping to get that filmed actually today as well to go up on Friday this week. Anywho, back to candle. Frankincense and myrrh. Love, love this scent. I, when this came out, I think on candle day there were some available and that was like one of the first ones I went to grab several of I at least have one more of these I love it I love that type of scent and strong and long-lasting as well next is harvest pomegranate and scent notes are rich pomegranate freshly picked apples sweet black plums and this is definitely a dark deep fruity scent from that plum but then it's got that brightness from the apple and the pomegranate really nice I hope they bring this one out again um, and of course you can smell the lids on candles if they've had the same lid on it anyway um, to get the scent as well really nice I like how they just do these different type of top uh, lids sometimes anyway that was nice. I really enjoyed that. It was also in a candle crock um, for a week. And then last one is Apple Garland. And this is another Bath & Body Works scent that I love. I'm saying that a lot today. <laughs> uh, this is eucalyptus and cedar wood with notes of gala apple and mistletoe. So for me, it's pretty much like 40%, 40% of apple and eucalyptus, and then 20% cedar wood, maybe even a little less cedar wood. But yes, I did not think this was really a like Christmas specific scent, but for some reason to my nose this time, and I think I've uh, used a couple of these since Christmas, but for some reason this time, you know, when I walked into the room and I could smell it, I was like, it smells like Christmas in here. So for some reason, I think that combo of the eucalyptus and the cedar wood, for some reason, gave me distinct Christmas vibes in this one this time. But anyway, it's a good, fresh scent. And um, in the Scentsy Wax, I tried mixing the apple and what was it? It was a new scent this past fall winter, eucalyptus wreath. 
uh, mix Johnny Appleseed eucalyptus wreath. Hopefully eucalyptus wreath comes back. I hope it does. Try mixing those and that's pretty much what you get here with a little bit of added cedar wood. Um, anyway, and a good strong scent as well. All right, that's it. That wraps it up for this week's weekly meltdown. I hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up or subs and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on Friday for my candle crock video. Stay tuned for that and I will see you later. Bye-bye.